the break, we discussed the first trimester of pregnancy. Now, moving on to the second trimester. So how might the symptom changes? I, I welcome the second trimester. <laughs> I think many women do. Many women do. <laughs> so tell me why. So they, they just start to feel overall better. They okay. start to feel better. They, they can start tolerating. They're not as nauseous all the time. They're not as tired as they were before. You, now the, um, the body has finally adapted to the changes in the hormones. Mm -hmm. And so they just start to feel feel better overall. Right. They're able to eat. They're not you know running to the bathroom all the time. And so it's just a better overall feeling um, as being pregnant. It's probably the best part of the pregnancy. Okay, so let's clarify something because they call it morning sickness. Sickness, yes. But it's not necessarily morning sickness because it can last. It can last throughout the whole day and sometimes patients have it at night worse than in the morning. Right. And so it just depends on how, on how, you're, how you feel and how it goes with, you know, for every individual patient. Okay, so we didn't talk about the baby bump, which right. is obviously one of the amazing things about pregnancy. And tell me a little bit about when you should start seeing a baby bump or is that dependent on the individual? So it depends on the individual, depending on the patient. Okay. Uh, sometimes they'll show a little earlier on in the second trimester. Or sometimes it'll take the middle portion between you know, 20, you know, 16 to 20 weeks. And then so somewhere around there, you'll start to see a little bump start to show. Uh, and so, you know, depending on how the patient, how, for each individual patient, it'll right. be a little a slightly different of when they'll start to show. But usually after the first trimester, mm -hmm. the, the, the uterus will come out of the pelvis and it'll start to show a little bit.